Hey there YouTubers, I uh, just wanted to uh, document an issue that I'm having with my D40 Navara. Um, so I've gone to the car, gone to open the, the door and it's just swung open like that. So it's got it all apart, which was no easy feat. But what I've actually found to be the problem is this little guy here. See if I can get that into focus. Anyway, that bit of plastic in there should be attached to that, which locks it all. Into the bottom of this piece of plastic here and allows the cable pull to attach to there and not fall out. So it's actually it's actually falling out as you pull on the handle. So I think what I'm going to do is just make a little retainer that attaches on the bottom of here. There's plenty of room up in there. I'll say that. There's, not, there's plenty of room up in there to attach that. The actual attaching process is probably going to be not very easy. But Hopefully I'll get it to retain from there because currently if I've had a look on an eBay there's nobody selling a front right hand door lock in this country uh, and even if they are uh, they're, they're not real affordable so to speak so we'll see how we go Alrighty, apologies for uh, just recording a screen. I haven't actually got any screen capture software. Uh, I've just jumped on Autodesk Fusion 360 and drawn up a little plate that I'm going to be able to screw to the bottom of the uh, the door lock bracket. Uh, the hole in the center there will hold the, the white piece of the cable and the two smaller holes here they'll hold that's just where the screw will go through and uh, attach it to the bottom of the bracket. Um, it's just three meters high, uh, three millimeters high, 28 mil wide, and 20 mil across across here. Um, I'll create the G code for it and pass it through to the 3D printer. Just a little shot of the 3D printer running. Uh, it's kind of hard to get a decent image of this because I've got the fan shroud there and it's only going to be a, a fairly um, small height completed. So it's still just doing the initial layers, hasn't gotten on to the infill yet. Everything seems to be running alright. Just for interest's sake, the printer is a Cocoon Create. It's basically a one hull duplicator, i3, but branded for uh, sale in the Audi supermarkets in Australia. So it commonly gets the name of Audi 3D Printer. After I'm finished, I'll upload the files onto Thingiverse and I'll put a link in the video description. Uh, and then you can either print them yourself or you can send it off to a 3D hubs person to print it or even your local um, maker store or library can have 3D printers. And, uh, in Australia, there's uh, Officeworks has 3D printing, uh, otherwise, yeah, just Cut it out of a piece of steel if you need to.
that's the finished part. Being a translucent blue, it does appear to have a poor finish, uh, but when you when you touch it, everything feels all right. Just got to wait now for the bed to cool down because it's got the hairspray on it. It uh, it is can be quite difficult to remove a part until it's cooled down. Uh, so I just walk away from it for about 20 minutes, go and have some lunch or something, and uh, come back to it. Alrighty, that's the part all fitted and assembled. So basically it's just retaining the cable so it can't fall out the side. If I did it again, probably make this section here support more of this. Get my finger in that. Support more of this here. Um, if you pull down on it, it does actually flop out and around. Think in position, it, it should work fine though. Uh, now I've just got to contort my hands up into there and get it all back together. I'll come back when it's operating. Alrighty, I've got it all back together. And the door opens now. No issues.